Well, Anna Dudney's uh, Lama Lama book series, a uh, bestseller, and uh, it's going to be coming to life this upcoming weekend at the amazing Meridian Theaters at Center Point. We say hello right now to the artistic producer and manager there, Alan Sansom. Uh, Sansom, hello, Alan. Hi. <laughs> Hi. It's good to have you here. It, it's great to be here. My goodness, busy time of year. It is that. It is that. We're actually trying to nail down next season uh, as I speak. You know, mm -hmm. most of my brain cells right now are occupied with September to May of 2021. Which must be kind of odd sometimes when you're looking that far ahead when there's shows still to happen. It can be a little embarrassing to be yeah. honest with you. Somebody will say, uh, what's the next show? And I struggle because uh, I'm thinking of something in May of 2021. Uh, I you love know, your venue. I, I've seen some of my heroes there and I live across the street from it. It's just convenient. It's yeah. a beautiful spot, intimate, and Lama Lama Live, as I mentioned, coming Saturday. So this is a New York Times bestseller, the mm -hmm. series. Yeah, yeah, Anna Dudney's books are so well-loved. Mm -hmm. um, it was such a coup when we managed to book this show, which is a musical adaptation of one of her short stories called Lama Lama Red Pajama. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, basically, it uh, the story describes in beautiful, sort of calm uh, verse, um, how Baby Llama needs to go to bed and then gets a little anxious when he's not sure where Mama Llama is, oh, okay. um, despite his calls for her. Okay. Um, but the story has a lovely ending. This is a musical adaptation, so it's very energetic. It's no really going to engage though, right? them. No, 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 I cannot. Uh, I, all I can say is uh, lots of parents will identify with this story very, very, very <laughs> yeah. much. But, yeah, imagine. very energetic and very engaging. It's um, best age for it is like three to six years old. Okay. Yeah. And, and I understand it is a Netflix series as well. Jennifer Garner is uh, Mama Llama. Yeah, yeah, she voices Mama Llama. So yeah, um, the books were so popular that Netflix created an, an original series okay. based on the books yeah this is actually a touring show it is uh, the uh, producing company is called the Bay Area Theater for Children uh, so out of California mm -hmm. um, but they're doing quite an extensive Ontario tour Ottawa mm -hmm. is one of their stops because we get together us presenters in Ontario and try to to block uh, book things as a block to make mm -hmm. it worthwhile for the artists and so that a show like this will maybe play you know a smaller venue in a more remote area as well yeah. as and it's ours. only one showing this weekend that's right yeah that's right yeah people only have one chance uh, the show's at two o'clock uh, but it's not just a show. We uh, we always try to offer um, as much value as we can to families. So if people show up uh, an hour beforehand, mm -hmm. um, they'll be able to do a craft. Our volunteers fun. have prepared a craft. They'll be able to make their very own llama. Make their own llama. Yeah, that and our uh, our lovely partners at uh, the Ottawa Public Library will be reading three of the other llama llama uh, stories. That's good. It's not going to interfere with nap time or anything like that. No, no. The show's no. at two o'clock, so uh, I'm <laughs> hoping that'll work for most families. Yeah. That is great. Okay. So yeah. it's also a wonderful way to introduce kids to the stage for the first time. Yeah, it, it sure is. I mean, it's it's a great way to spend time with your children that doesn't involve a screen. And I think increasingly, you know, I hope that that's what families are looking for. And it's an, a musical adaptation, so it's very energetic, very engaging. But it's not terribly long. It's yeah. a little under an hour. So, you know nobody's going to get terribly restless. Yeah, and I think that's even good for the parents too, right? Because if you're taking a child that's very rambunctious mm -hmm. or they don't want to stay in their seat. Yeah, and the, per know. the performers roll with that. They they know their audience. They know who they're playing to. Yeah. And, you know, engagement and uh, vocalization and shifting around, that's all part of the deal. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some dancing involved. Yeah? Yeah. In, in the aisles at, at center point. You never know. <laughs> that's super fun. Okay, so are there many seats left for this? Because I, uh, I can yeah, imagine we it do. goes pretty quick. Yeah, we, uh, it's selling really well. Yeah. Uh, we do have some seats left, so I'm hoping very much that, you know, this helps get the word out so For we can sure. sell the last few yeah we're also going to get the word out about to some of the upcoming shows mm -hmm. uh, I know the Bay City Rollers are coming to town yeah yeah we still got lots of shows uh, season doesn't end until May 20th at least the shows I'm presenting uh, Les McEwen's Bay City yeah, Rollers yeah. yeah he's still doing it yeah he very assuredly is we've got the Just for Laughs Road Show coming up uh, Canto Sentimento which is a local classical string quartet is going to do a show in our studio theater um, I've got a, a modern dance company called Catapult Dance 
dance, which creates vignettes and shapes, uh, just using their bodies and simple props in silhouette, in shadow. Mm. Uh, Canadian country music star Megan Patrick mm -hmm. and Anne of Green Gables, the ballet. The ballet of Anne of Green Gables. Mm -hmm. That is something. Yeah, it'd be a great springtime thing. Yes. So the big day then, uh, May 21st, correct? That's right. That's going to be when we uh, announce all the shows that'll be in the 2020-2021 season. Okay. So, so as I sit here in front of you, mm -hmm. I'm looking at you. Mm -hmm. You know what's coming. You mm -hmm. know who's coming. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to give us a hint? No, I'm a not. Clue, no, I'm not. All, all I'm going to do is tell you we're I think we've done a stellar job again yeah. uh, next season trying to line stuff up that's going to give uh, patrons as broad an artistic experience as possible for as many different age groups as mm -hmm. possible. So appealing to folks from 3 to 83. 30 seconds left here local as well as something that you do which is great, local hacks. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I've been programming more and more shows. We just had the commotions last Saturday, yeah, and uh, our members event will feature Matt Chaffee and Kimberly Sundstrom, who are both local artists in the Les Lies Studio Theatre. Amazing. Thank you so much, Alan. Thanks again. What a wonderful venue. Yeah. Appreciate your time. Yeah, we like it. Lama Lama Live coming this Saturday. All right, uh, get in the ring, Ottawa. What is it all about? We'll find out next on Daytime Ottawa.